morning. Welcome to Trevor's Park in Mad Channel. It's Crip Day. and uh, got my charging point sorted. It's a lovely sunny day. I'm just so happy to be going. Made my day, made my week, has been made my year. I don't get out much. Anyway, come with us on the journey. Gonna do a couple of stops. First one's gonna be uh, Abingdon, Fair Acres uh, Shopping Centre. And there's four Instavolt chargers there. I hope they're all working. I'll check the app before I get there. And I hope they're all vacant. What is one is for little, da little Daisy and Twiggy? <laughs> Twiggy's the car, Daisy's me. See you later. And we are charging. All four Instavolts are working. When I say we're here, I am here at Fair Acres Retail Park. It's rather a sweet little park, very busy always. Um, got everything you need, really. Home base. Costa, a gym, Lidl's, and much, much more around the corner. Anyway, going to be here for about 20 minutes. Um, next stop is going to be the Holiday Inn, just a trick. Um, I might stop before then, just in case that one charger gets taken by someone using the gym. But hey, it's, it's turned out to be a lovely day, quite hazy. It's not hot, hot, it's about 12 degrees at the moment, but it's still not nine o'clock. Anyway. Good journey so far, really good. Charge of the trip, and it's at Weedon, heart of England. Um, rather well hidden, a couple of Osprey chargers. First one wouldn't work, I wouldn't accept the uh, card I use. The beauty with Osprey's, I can put it on my Octopus electric bill, so <laughs> get a slightly cheaper rate, I believe. <laughs> anyway, we've got 57% in already. Uh, about another five, ten minutes. I need the loo, but there's no loo around here. So I think I'm going to have to stop at Watford Gap very quickly for that side of things. And then on to Crick, and hopefully coming out of Crick, I should be okay till I get back to um, Abingdon again, hopefully. Um, but it is quite hilly around here, so it uses up a little bit more than you think it's going to. Lovely, lovely weather, as you can see. Lovely location. Listen to the birds. And just behind here is the canal. <sighs> Heaven. You have a good day.
basically in the old days you only had a rope and a horse and dragging the, the boat along. So they used to turn it into a wider section and allow the wind to catch the boat and turn it around. It's the turn That's all what I've been told, so just pass it on. Maybe right, maybe wrong. Hello, I didn't know it was recording me. <laughs> so, I just thought I'd do a little bit to camera and um, I'm on my, well, I'm actually on my way home. So, the sun on my face has caused me to squint and it's really reacted with me eye and it's bought, seems to have uh, brought the uh, um, Bell's palsy a little bit to life. Um, this afternoon, but the sun has been really strong, really hot, <clears throat> and yeah, it's been squinting. Being, I've noticed the effects of the Bell's palsy um, uh, exaggerate, shall we say, in the sunlight and the squinting. So I know it's all very early days on the medication. It's only the third dose this morning, so um, <clears throat> to appreciate that and. Uh, yeah, so to excuse me if I'm a bit watery-eyed, I'm not crying or anything. So, what did I expect out of today's visit to Crick? Well, first of all, um, although I was rather 
I suppose, disheartened that no one actually wanted to go with me. Thinking, when I thought about it going up there this morning, I thought, well, actually, I could be rather geeky and I can ask some of these geeky questions to the, uh, the stands that I want to ask about my own personal situation and see um, if how viable my thoughts are on the subject. And I, I was absolutely able to be a terribly, most really annoying uh, EV geek. And uh, I was asking, basically, I thought to get an electric powered boat, I'd have to look up brand new and have it fitted for, from new. But no, you can buy a second hand diesel powered narrowboat or wide beam and they can remove the engine, the gearbox, the fuel um, system, tank, um, degrease it, paint it, or de-rust it if need be, and put the solar on, put the battery pack in, put any backup generator in uh, for the winter months mainly, uh, cover the roof with solar, at least two kilowatts, most probably seems to be about the average, um, the battery packs um, and the motor and um, upgrade the stern gear. And uh, yeah, perf apparently that is the main part of the um, electric motor people's business net at the moment, replacing uh, diesel engines, etc., in canal boats. And I was fascinated by talking to them because they all had different solutions, different types of batteries and different types of powers of motor, etc. And different warranties on them. It's very fascinating. Some just supplied it. Some will put you in touch with a boatyard that would fit it alongside with them attending. Um, very, very good customer service and fitted looking roughly about 25 to 30 grand, which but what you get in the main heart of the boat isn't bad. Isn't bad, you can get a decent boat for like 50, 60 grand um, and have that all done and you've got equivalent to a brand new boat that never needs servicing, never needs belts tightening, never needs maintenance and the batteries are gonna last most probably five to 10 years, if not longer, because they're on trickle charge, so they, from the solar. Um, yeah, in the winter months, I think someone said that they had to switch on the engine to charge the batteries uh, once in three months. <laughs> the solar did the rest. And as you cruise along in this time of year, the solar is replenishing the power you use, apparently. Absolutely fantastic. And so that has definitely put that into a different perspective to actually possibly look at an older boat and I did look at an old boat today, and it's actually really good. And you could have refitted the bits that need refitting and do all the engine part for, and the, for electric, and yeah, it would have still been about 75 grand. Not bad. Fair bit left in the bank. It's a thought. And aside from that, I wanted to also meet with as many vlogging friends as I could. I know a lot were going to be there. Not everyone can be is going to be there. Obviously, they're all in different parts of the country. Um, but yes, it was lovely to meet um, We're On The Move. They originally from Gosport. So yeah, it was nice to have a little chat with them. And they're two very well behaved, I call them pups, but they're, they're, they must be getting off a year old, maybe even a bit more now. Um, they're Border Collies. Yeah, that's a bit of dotty there, you see. Um, but yeah, they, they were amazing so well behaved the dogs i mean um but that was lovely chatting to them also i wanted to meet up with as many vlogging friends as possible i know not everyone's going to be there because everyone's in different parts of the country but it really was lovely meeting up with um gary nikki uh their kids their dogs and uh, yeah lovely little catch up uh, it was also lovely meeting um paul and anthony um, and Mr. Dexter in the background gave them their little um, boat warming present and uh, had a look on their smashing, absolutely fantastic brand new electric Oakham's boat, of which I have entered the competition to win one exactly the same. Um, I'm gonna carry on entering the competition each month until August when it's drawn, you never know, brand new electric boat. 
fantastic. It really was spectacular boat, really, really was. It was exceedingly busy. Um, the weather was very hot. Lots of doglets there. I'm glad I didn't take Toto. Oh, I nearly did because he was in a bit of a gonna miss daddy mood. But um, yeah, it was. Uh, so I'm just checking the temperature of my battery. I need to switch off. So um, it was a very warm day. I was there just over four hours, and I did all I needed to do. Sorry, I had to end that a little bit quick because uh, the battery had gone to the uh, one bar after uh, under the. <laughs> Got this new thing, the minute I switch the camera on, we get a loud bark. Anyway, bit of a drama queen, it's my job. So anyway, also met a minimalist, and as you'll see from the video of the canal boat trip, uh, went past their boat, uh, Perseverance. Their boat has been all around the entire canal network. I believe Silver Propeller Award, very well done. And they are, of course, the original vloggers canal boat vlog, vlog in their journey absolutely fantastic couple and uh, yeah so I met them had a little chat um, at, at their stand they got a stand where they sell their, their uh, maps uh, that they make uh, absolutely fantastic and as I was coming out I bumped into Alan from my nav, uh, narrow boat venture um, I'm going to try and put links to all of these in the description. Please forgive me if I forget any. You know what I'm like. And so we did a little bit of a um, piece to camera, as he calls it. I like that phrase, piece to camera. Um, lovely, lovely chap. And uh, yeah, you know, the funniest thing is these people I follow online, some of them follow me, and it's like they're friends, they're old friends. And you do tend to have a chit chat and you like what the stuff they do. You like their cruises. And there's many more that I enjoy that weren't there. Um, it's a great, great community. It really is. And one of the next things I did was I went straight to the um, charity that does the free little canal trips, 15 minutes. Um, up on 15 minutes, uh, no, 15 minutes in total, I think it was. But it's a lovely little trip, and you go on the canal boats, and uh, it's quite interesting seeing all the different sorts of boats you're going past. Some are dressed up for the occasion, uh, some aren't. And, yep, so I got me ticket, and um, that was for 12.50. So I had an hour to kill, so with that, I whizzed around looking at all the, the boats in the basin, and Aqua Vista, you, know, you can go and view some of theirs, so I thought I'd go back there later. My main thing was my, my backpack was a little bit heavy because there was a gift on there, a boat warming gift for uh, Paul and Anthony of um, Morningstar. They've just had a brand new boat built. It's electric um, by Oakham's. Absolutely amazing boat, so luxurious. Uh, it's a narrow boat. The styling of it is fantastic. It makes it feel so spacious as well as luxurious. Very nice indeed. And uh, so I went and saw the boys, gave them their bag, they did a selfie, which you'll see. And um, saw Mr. Dexter, their dog in the, in the background. Um, don't know if he came out in the photos, sadly. I don't think he did. Um, and then I went on board, I came back later to go on board their boat. Had a little chat with Liam from Oakham's, and it's Oakham's who are doing the raffle for an identical boat in August. Um, and I'm treating myself to a quantity of tickets each month in the hope that I'm spacing my, my raffle tickets out and that they won't be all in one block and they'll be spaced out. And I might stand a good chance, I doubt it, but don't try you don't get as I say if you're not in it you can't win it and that is a boat worth I think it's about two hundred and ten thousand pound so yeah fingers crossed oh magic oh, um, after that went to the loo and then I went and had an ice cream and uh, then went on the canal boat cruise. Quick is a lovely, lovely little area. It really is very, very twee, very canal, 
quite Canal Central, although Braunston's Canal Central, um, but it isn't far away and it's really lovely. It really is a lovely little twee English place, English countryside. So on getting back, I did go and have a chat to a couple more electronic converters. <laughs> or companies who sell electronic motors, battery packs and etc etc the solar um, power installations and stuff and how much it all costs for them and then I went over to Oakham's and I went on the boys boat after that I went round and I had a burger now la last year we, if you remember me and Lindy we had uh, sausage and chips and it was pretty tired for £6.50 and I wasn't hugely hungry, but I fancied so I thought I should have something and timing it with my tablets I was taking, my penicillin tablets. So I treated myself to a Angus beef cheeseburger with onions. I didn't do mushrooms. And it was eight pounds. Not cheap, but it was I gotta say, it was bloody gorgeous. It really was. I'm the only bottles of water, so I had I didn't have to buy that. And it was during that time that I went and had a chat to uh, fellow vloggers um, and uh, had a walk around in general um, looking at various different things of interest and, uh, and then I came to thought I've done it all, I've done all I need to do and it's time and it was about quarter past three and I, that's when I came out, bumped into Alan did a little bit of piece to camera, said hi and etc etc and got in the car which was baking hot the battery hadn't actually cooled down it was on maximum just under the red when I arrived it was about three quarters uh, temperature still so it hadn't cooled down as much as it did last year but last year it was pretty damn cold wet and yuck and this year absolutely stunning 22 degrees wow I was just going to do one charge and that was going to be coming home that was going to be at um, Fairacres in Abingdon but it was running a bit tight because it's taken me on the motorway and there was a slight deviation because the M40 is notorious in holiday time and there was a 45 minute delay on the M40 so it was going to take me which was actually a shortcut cutting off a corner of the M40 so I thought, just to safeguard things, I called into Watford Gap Services, four quid serve chargers. There's one that does my connection, no one on it, straight in, charged up, went and got a Costa, came back, all I needed to get me to Abingdon. Fine, and that little cut off that the A43 normally takes you onto the M40 and then the A34. Now, the A43 goes then goes over the M40 to the A430 and that cuts off a big corner of the M40, didn't need to do, and it's so pretty, it was such a pretty little country drive, but well, it all is to be honest, until you get to the A34 which is the most boring, monotonous, dual, monotonous, did I say that right? Monotonous. Um, we're not supposed to do, 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 do. Sorry, I'm mad. Park it mad. And then joined the uh, A34 to Fairacres and I went and got another cost. And because I put a slightly bigger charge in at Fairacres, I got a bit carried away doing some of the videoing just then. Um, I could put my foot down a little bit more. Um, and I got home with 25 miles left. So I'm pretty damn pleased. It all went absolutely perfectly this year after what was a dis disaster journey back home last year. Poor old Lindy suffered that. <laughs> I think that's basically what put her off this year. But, but with no one coming with me this year, I could be my geeky self, and I actually feel I've achieved a lot today. Um, and that, although it sounds a lot of money, 25, 30 grand to convert a boat to electric with what you're saving in fuel, servicing, etc., etc., a mess, and the thoughts of belts going or alternators going and all that stuff, to me, is, is money well spent. I'd much rather do that 
and a coat of paint on it or something. So I did have a look at Aqua, I didn't mention that, did I? I did have a look at a boat at Aqua Vista. At Aqua Vista, there are a big group of marinas and brokerages. And if you moor your boat at one of their marinas, you get something like 35, 36 days or free moorings as you go round at their various marinas, which I think is a really good idea. So if you're out cruising and you don't want a wild cruise or, or is, there's a storm coming in and you want to stop in one of their marinas, you can do, and it's free. Or if you go to some like Limehouse, you might have to pay a discounted rate because it's central London. But it's a, I think that's a great idea. I know some people see it as a multinational group and it's, lost some of his pers persona, but I think that's a blooming good idea. And they had this little music um, thing there with a bar and everything else, drinks and nibbles. I didn't go into it, but it had some fantastic, typical sort of shanty music going on. And it really was lovely. And last year their boats, you could just fill in a questionnaire and, and then you got shown onto the boats at a certain time. Um, this year you just joined a queue and it was worked so well. When I went on to one that was a cruiser stern, it was year 2000, it was up for 51,000 and had a large deck at the back, which I like. It needed a little bit of tidying up inside TLC, um, there was a couple of little damp patches under the windows from condensation. It, it was primed so it's ready for painting whether you do that yourself or whether you want a professional job on it, you'd most probably at that price do it yourself in all honesty, um, with a couple of coats of uh, a decent international paint top coat, would see it right in needed blacking, and that will be an ideal one to convert. But I'm not gonna do anything just yet. Whilst I was walking around, it did give me a chance to think of things, and I'm gonna wait till my treatment's over which will be next year, next autumn, I believe, if they don't end it earlier. And then I will start thinking about changing to a boat. I will see how my health is and hopefully the technology of changing to electric motors and maybe there might even be something like some rapid chargers in places and that could make life a little bit easier without a need of a generator maybe although I think generators are safe fallback just in case for winter months on an electric boat but it's something to look into and it's something to think about I think you all know it's my dream anyway. And I want to try and do it. So there we go. That's quick for me this year, 2023. I can't believe I did it. Um, what was a, I couldn't drive until two days ago um, after getting the result of what wasn't a stroke. And it was Bell's thingy. I can't think it was called. And thank you to Sue for reminding me. And thank you very much to Sue, of course, for looking after the dogs for me today. Very much appreciated. And uh, very, very grateful, very kind of you. Thank you. I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope it's given you a little bit of an insight to my mind and things that are important to me. Friends, bloggers, and also going down the EV route. EV, whether it's car, boat, even house. You take care, love one another, and there's going to be some more vlogs coming up very soon. See you soon. Take care. Bye.
Sometimes I think like a man